So as part of the original uh, cultural development fund bid, we wanted to make sure as well as developing a large scale festivals programme that we also put in some support for community festivals, grassroots festivals. So we wanted to make sure that we had opportunity for new festivals to come forward, as well as for existing festivals to have a place to grow and develop. So we put together a, a mixture of work which included a range of specialist mentoring for those organisations, as well as a generic program and what we tried to do was create a bespoke program for each of them. We brokered a lot of specialists to, into the conversations with them so people like um, Juliet Hardy from Stockton International Riverside Festival came and engaged with the carnival. We had people like Dr Rob Milford who's a kind of national specialist in, in governance of organisations come and work with them on their organisational structures and we had really kind of big name fundraisers people like Kirsty Falcon who work, work with big organisations. The Community Festival Programme runs alongside the main professional programme of, of festival development in the city. And actually, community festivals really benefited from that because they were able to see themselves as part of that development journey and see that actually they were playing a role in a wider city festival ambition. And I think that was very empowering for them. David Edmonds, who's festival director for uh, the Arches Festivals, actually was able to play a role in the programme. The individual festivals not only were able to spend time with him, perhaps uh, actually on their sites where the events happened, and he was able to offer suggestions, give advice, uh, uh, challenge them with uh, new ideas and innovations. But also he was he was able to meet them as a group and, and present them uh, new ideas and, new, and, and thinking about practices in, in staging festivals. Worcester is a festival city, that growth will continue. I think we've had a really amazing start over the last four years. And I think that that mixed rich pot that is starting to kind of come out of Worcester will continue to grow. So it's very much cementing itself as a festival city. But I think that growth will need to continue um, and people need to continue to be brave and bold and ambitious and, and provide the resources for that to happen. But there's no question that the audiences in the city um, love festivals and, and want more of them. They challenged us to go above and beyond. We really wanted to get into the core of culture and what it means uh, to be from the South Asian community and to weave that into the fabric of the life of the city. The workshops have been really helpful for our Love the Arbo team to upskill and um, learn lots of new things. In terms of the Soundings project, um, there's not, I wouldn't say that anything like this has happened on within Worcester. It's uh, certainly bringing in international uh, artists into Worcester, which is great. It's been a really enriching process for me as one of the carnival organisers to be that involved in bringing together the artists and the community. It's been great because it means that I'm, you know, I'm going to different areas of Worcester, I'm stepping outside of my, of my area, I'm working with different communities, um, you know, communities that may not kind of like consider that they have a part in the carnival. It's enabled people who are on the edge of the city, on the periphery, who are less well served, to really feel part of the city and to really feel that they're involved and cherished and valued as part of Worcester. You know, what's really come across to me is their open-mindedness. What we tried to do was create a space for them to be creative and to dream and to think big. Um, and I think that they've embraced that wholeheartedly and they've kind of been able to think probably beyond what they thought their own expectations were. These relationships don't grow overnight. It takes time and it also takes uh, trust and respect on both sides. And if we're going to nurture new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of developing, then we've got to invest time to allow that to happen. I think these four festivals have changed the cultural landscape of the city, and that's really important. There are some gaps in our cultural needs, and those have been filled. And I think what it's proved to me is that working in partnership, you gain a greater product and you have a greater impact, and the whole purpose of this programme was to embed these new skills and to embed more ambitious thinking and widening reach into the groups that exist here already. And for me, they've delivered on a professional level, but let's remember they are all volunteer led and you know they've, they've been able to do that because of their passion and their drive for what they believe in. And I'm really excited to see what happens next. So they've all got uh, ways that they can evolve and they've all got kind of skills to be able to do that going forward and I think the next two years within Worcester City the, there's going to be some really exciting developments.